Hey, what's up? It's Deanna, and I just wanted to show you um, something that I just got. Um, this just arrived today. Look how beautiful it is. So this is Victorian, and it's hand-blown glass that was made in Czechoslovakia or Austria. Um, it's known as Bohemian hand-blown glass. Um, it looks very Venetian, very like Murano-like, but this um, was most likely made by the Moja Glass Company. Um, look at the uh, beautiful, beautiful enamel work. It's a horn um, in a lovely color blue. And you can see that here. And it has a finger ring. And this is a scent bottle. So let me flip it over. And on the other side, we have the same exact um, technique and enamel work. And you can see uh, it's little pretty, pretty flowers with uh, gold gilding. And um, on the top here, we have this metal piece. And a lady would have placed her finger in here, and this would have dangled from her finger. Now, the problem, the uh, seller did not tell me huh, in the eBay auction. By the way, uh, 29 other bidders bid on this um, against me, <laughs> and I fought, and I won. Um, okay, this piece pops open. And uh, you'll see here the original stopper, and that's uh, to keep the perfume from spilling out when not in use. But the seller did not tell me about this, and I'll show you in a moment. And we're going to fix that today. And it's so funny, we just got plaster of Paris the other day, and now we need it again for another antique fix. So uh, remember I showed you uh, me fixing another glass piece the other day with plaster of Paris? As you can see, the plaster of Paris has worn over the years. And uh, yeah, the focus is getting out of range here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place plaster of Paris around here affix this piece on, twist it on, and then give it an hour to set. And then this should stay on for another 100 years. This uh, actually was probably made um, around 1890, probably around the 1890s. Um, it's a horn, and it signifies good luck. Um, okay, let's get uh, working on fixing this. Stay tuned. All right, so uh, yeah, <laughs> my my video was way too wrong, uh, long with me fixing up this thing, so I'm gonna just like fast forward through what I already videoed. So what I did was I mixed up the plaster of Paris with 68% um, water, 100% plaster of Paris. I made way too much. Didn't realize that you only needed a tiny, tiny little bit of it um, mixed with water. Um, okay, then I took masking tape, as you can see here in this picture, wrapped it around the top. Actually, let's play it. And I wrapped around the top so the plaster of Paris wouldn't ooze down the side. And then dipped a paintbrush in and uh, got the plaster of Paris on it. And what I did was I rubbed the plaster of Paris along the edges of the glass where I needed the brass fitting to uh, cement to. And you see me painting it. And all is going well. And this is the first time I ever did a fix like this. So I thought everything was all, you know, hunky-dory. Um, I had the tape there to pre uh, prevent the oozing from happening. And I'm going to show you in a second that the uh, tape didn't even help that situation. But plaster of Paris is very forgiving. And it's very forgiving because it's water soluble. So um, if you don't want to make something permanent, permanent, plaster of Paris is a great fix. Because you can just wet it and it will dissolve. So there's me affixing the brass fitting to the collar of the glass. And trying to twist it on there, get it on there good. It takes about an hour to set for the cement to dry and for it to set. Now you see what happened. It oozed down. And I thought the tape was a great idea. But, as you're going uh, you're gonna to see in a moment, the tape wasn't um, actually really doing very much to help my situation. As I tried to pull it off, reason being because I didn't want it to cement to the tape. And then I couldn't get it off later on when it dried. So there I am. I'm trying to pull it off. And watch what happens. I told you I never did this before. So now we have a holy mess on our hands, right? This plaster of Paris all over the piece. And I was like cursing. That's another reason why I couldn't show you the original content. Because I have a very bad Italian temper. And uh, yeah, I was cursing about that. Well, how I got that off? Very simply. I uh, took Q-tips and water. And uh, let's play this again. I took Q-tips and water. And wiped it off and it came right off and uh, there was no problem whatsoever 
All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like out in the beautiful sun with the sun shining down on it. I waited an hour, and now it's permanently affixed to the glass bottle. And there's no plaster stuck anywhere, um, leaving lumpy clumps of it anywhere on the piece. All right, stay tuned. So the plaster of Paris fix worked, and uh, now um, this is uh, permanently affixed to the top, probably for another 100 years. And look how pretty it looks. See? Good old plaster of Paris, right? A $10 purchase on Amazon, and now this beautiful, beautiful blown glass scent bottle from the Victorian era is still going strong. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.